Hello there! I just finished the plugin for the platform actors and I will show you how this works. So I will activate the plugin here. And what will do what it will do, it's add a new class for us called platform actor and platform player. The platform actor is something related to uh, AI and that kind of stuff. I'll show you later. And this one handles inputs, so it's meant to be used for players. So I'll instantiate this. And you can see that it already adds a shape to D and the state machine. The state machine is what I use to make sure that the character does everything in the given state. So uh, you can see that the character has an enter state signal and a perform action signal. This one is if you want to tell anything about the next state the character will be. This one is meant to be the action that the character is perform performing, which is different from the, the state. For instance, the character can be falling, can start to fall, and be in the jump state. So uh, this I will show you later. Uh, but if you want to know uh, the the story of the the states, you can use this signal here. So it tells the previous state and the next one. So just for the bug purposes, I will connect this to this the bug here. You can see that I already set this. And what I will do here is show you how I use to set up my animations. So I will use my pig character here. And I will drag this to the middle of the screen. And the only thing that I need to do to make everything work is to connect this perform action to the animation. Uh, which is this cutout character here? It uh, handles animation, so I'll make sure that this is character form action because this is the the method that I'm using. And you can see that it passes a action which is a string. In my case, the the action name, the action string, uh, matches the animation name, but it cannot be a case. So let's say you are using a animated sprite and you want to play some some other thing with uh, other names you can uh, use it in other uh, which other uses right just make sure that you have something to work with uh, here um, the next thing that I will do is add a shape to the character and since he's a little fatty make this way so um, we are good to go I will just tweak this parameters here so the character will walk faster I think that the jumps okay I'll make sure that this is the same as this so the character makes a arc while climbing this is the same as well and this will be something higher I think that more this so we are good to go and you can see that the character is already working uh, I mean this this whole setup is just to make sure that visual stuff is, is being shown but uh, you can pretty much delete this and disconnect the signal and the character will work as well there is nothing that it's pretty much self-contained, right? Right. So I redo this, adding my big character here and connect this, perform action to the cutout character and uh, make sure that this this is already connected. So uh, this is it. The character is already working and that's all you need to, to make this, to make your character as well. Uh, as you can see, it has a wall jump, but I will show you better. Uh, I will add just a camera rig here. So remote, remote transform, I will call it 
camera hit and make sure that this is the camera okay so this is just a playground uh, level that I made so the character can also uh, dash in middle air it can stop any any time uh, and you can see that the character can double jump but if I want to I can make the character have as many jumps as, as I want so uh, I will make this something like five jumps okay uh, five jumps okay so this may already one two three four five one two three four five and I can make this just a single jump as well so one and nothing else but I will leave this too because I like double jumps and the character can wall slide climb and wall jump so that's it guys this is the character and this will make sure that it will be easy to make a game with a platform template right so uh, you saw the process it's very easy to handle and it's very easy to set up you don't need to even code or anything so uh, that's it thank you for watching keep developing and until the next time